Time now for a look at your health, and we're going to take it state by state with a projection of our country's future obesity rates, and it is not looking good. Joining us now, like every Tuesday, is Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD to break down California's prediction. Thank you for being here. Good to be here. We hear so much about how serious obesity is in America. On a scale of 1 to 10, how serious would you say it truly is? I think it's one of the most serious problems we have in the country, and the reason is over the last 20 years, our obesity rates in the United States alone is almost doubled. And what that translates into is a 16% increase in our health care costs just for treating obesity-related diseases. And what's interesting about it is there's still kind of a pushback. Um, you wouldn't think that people would be against what appears to be a benign positive campaign like Let's Move, like the First Lady Michelle Obama has put into place, but there is. Some people are reluctant, but childhood obesity is where it starts, is it not? It really is. And in this week's Journal of the uh, JAMA, what we found is that studies show that if children just worked out about 40 minutes a day, it's going to cut their obesity rates in half. So just playing things like kickball and running around, PE, which we don't do enough, that's going to really cut the rates down because if kids are obese in childhood, they're going to be obese adults. And talk about California specifically because, you know, you walk around San Diego and there's so many fit people, but obesity is very prevalent here as well. It is. In California, they estimate that obesity is going to contribute about $40, million, $40 billion in, in obesity-related health care costs. Now, California, fortunately, is not the most obese state in the nation. That title still goes to Mississippi, mm -hmm. which over half of the, everyone in Mississippi is obese. Interestingly, Colorado is the least obese state. We're coming in on number two. You would think California would be a little bit better, but our Colorado... Uh, friends are even more fit than we are. Well, let's talk about um, some of the medical problems that are spawned by being overweight because we hear a lot about juvenile diabetes spiking and that is a direct link to obesity. Absolutely. Heart disease and hypertension are the next ones. But uh, the diabetes, especially the type 2 diabetes, very important, does a lot of health care problems because when you have type 2 diabetes, you are also going to increase your risk, as we said last week, of strokes and high, and high blood pressure pressure. One of the other things that was uh, noted in this journal is that 96% of everyone in this country has high BPA levels in our urine. BPA is the chemical that's found in the plastic bottles that everyone is drinking yeah, yeah, now. All the wa bottled water we all And drug. canned foods. And so the question is, of those people that was associated with obesity, people with higher levels of BPA had a higher obesity rate. So is it that those people are just drinking lots of sugary drinks all the time and eating canned foods? Or is there something really going on? Because BPA can affect our metabolism. That's an interesting thought, but we should also um, emphasize it's not just laziness, is it, that's contributing to obesity? Well, it's a combination of things. There are medical reasons for be becoming obese. If, we, if a woman achieves menopause or goes into menopause, they usually gain about 10, 15 pounds. Of course, with thyroid problems, that could cause obesity. But Kathleen, as we say every Tuesday night, it's what goes in and what goes out. We have to really watch what we're eating. You are what and you we, eat. <laughs> and we have to exercise a little bit more. All right, thank you very much. Very interesting study and something for parents as they're preparing dinner, Lauren, for the kiddies to think about because it starts very early. Good advice, Kathleen. Thank you so much.